It's been a while since I uploaded the last video, but I edit my own videos and uh, well, I'm busy. So I get the videos out when I can. Uh, this one is a little bit longer. Lots of stuff going on, lots of planting. Uh, the danger of frost now has pretty much gone away. So we're getting all the crops in the ground. So yeah, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Uh, hit that little bell down there next to the subscribe button so you get notified when the video new video comes out. Uh, I'd like to hear from you in the comment section, so go ahead and comment. Uh, let's follow along and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Right here is a sweet corn. You can see here we have the root going down. And we have the spike ready to come up right there. So we're a couple days away from the, a few days away from the spike and we're poking out through the ground here. We'll cover him back up. So I gotta get the car, sprayer ready to get it all calibrated so I can spray this field, try to keep it weed free. Today I'm working on the battery of our 4020 here. Uh, we always seem to have some battery issues. Seems like every year we have to figure it out. Uh, probably grounding issues. Um, John Deere 4020 works on two six volt batteries hooked together to make 12 volt. Uh, so when you charge them, you crisscross the batteries, blah, blah, blah. Uh, never seems to charge them quite right unless I take off all the cables, charge each battery separate. For some reason, we charged them up good and it's drained the batteries again. So I'm checking grounding cables. Hopefully we get this straightened out so we don't have to pull start it every time. But so that is my morning job. Also, I have to get the sprayer running so I can spray that sweet corn. For some reason, when a sprayer is parked in the shed is when the hoses break and things break. I don't know what it is about the shed. It doesn't break when you're using it, but every time you pull it out every spring, you gotta go through it and fix it. So I don't understand that. I don't know if there's some fairies running around inside the shed, breaking stuff. Cause they also must let the air out of tires too, because flat tire, you always have flat tires in the shed. So those are today's jobs. Rain coming tonight. So probably have to plant as well. It's always a busy day, busy time of year. Today I'm gonna to try to get the plastic laid out here in the melon field. Um, our melon field is about a mile up the road from the farm where all our other vegetables are. There's sand up here. It just grows a better crop of melons than our clay that is a mile away. Uh, so I had to haul up the fertilizer tank I'll have to go back and get the plastic mulch and then come up here with the other tractor with the road tiller and plastic layer. We'll try to get this knocked out today. One thing nice about the melon field. Just listen. It's kind of peaceful up here. The last few nights have been pretty cold here in 
uh, the Madison, southern Wisconsin area. Uh, we've had down in the 20s and so things have been put on hold around here at the farm. We're going to get going now. This week it looks a lot better and it's time that we start getting some of the more sensitive crops in the ground. Uh, we had some rain and some snow yesterday, but it wasn't much. So we will be right back out in the fields again today. We're going to try to plant some cauliflower and broccoli because they'll make it through the next couple cold nights. Okay. And then we will later this week, what, Wednesday, Thursday, try to get those tomatoes and peppers started out here in the fields. Uh, the good news is we got a farmer's market, finally, this weekend. We have one on Saturday and one on Sunday that have been put on hold because of all this COVID-19 pandemic stuff. So, we'll have that on Friday to load a truck. So, we have Friday of loading trucks and so on. So, I got to get the... Uh, ground worked up for the cauliflower and broccoli. Now I have to pick up some rocks. in the row like that so that we don't have to fertilize outside that row um, that way you know we're not wasting the fertilizer out in the driveways that we go through or that we drive back and forth through uh, when we plant our peppers and tomatoes uh, we put three rows there uh, for the peppers it's three double rows so six rows and then we have a driveway that we go down when we're picking so that we don't have to carry it out as far. So we don't want to fertilize that driveway because uh, it wouldn't, that'd be just like fertilizing bare ground or weeds. So we just fertilize right where the plants are. So here we go, we're about ready to go out and plant the cauliflower in this load. There's some broccoli on the wagon for another load. And then a little bit of kohlrabi. The helper Taylor is over there. It's time to get the stuff in. I'm down here in the field where the peppers and tomatoes will be planted. I'm going to give you, uh, show you what we are doing down here and how we are trying to set up our field. So, it's a little bit different this year as I'm trying to not 
disturb the soil as much as we used to. Alright, so we had a cover crop of winter rye or cereal rye planted in this field. Uh, where it's tilled, there's, there'll be three double rows of peppers or one single row of tomatoes. Uh, this is what we call the driveway. Uh, we're going to try to leave the rye here and mow it down. Uh, I came in here last week and terminated the rye where I tilled. So hopefully with some roots underneath the driveways here, we won't create the ruts in the mess if it gets wet when we have to harvest. So far it looked like it's worked up pretty good. It's nice and soft. Uh, the whole point of this is we don't want to work up the whole field. If we work up the whole field, there's more exposed soil, more chance of runoff. Uh, the weed, the work soil, the weeds come through a little bit faster. So we're just trying to work up right where we're planting. So we are planting our last load of peppers for this planting. Uh, we'll have these three rows filled and we'll wait a week or two before we plant our next group of peppers uh, so that they ripen at different times. Sorry, I'm also trying to drive straight here as I'm recording this. I still wanna get a load of tomatoes done yet today. Uh, they're talking rain tonight and continuing through Sunday almost, I think, last time I saw it. So I want to get those up, done. Here I got the two wheels off of it, off the water wheel. I'm going to slide this shaft down there to make room for the... That wasn't supposed to happen, but... Here's what the difference between the two wheels are. This one has the six spice around, or that one's a little bit bigger, it only has three. So we get about 17 inch spacing with this wheel, and about 34 with that wheel. 34 to 36, somewhere in there. I can't remember exactly, but. Uh, we're also gonna set this up for going onto plastic. So we're gonna drop the water inside the wheel instead of going through the hoses to the back end. And then each one of those holes is going to drop water right in the hole instead of draining it all along the top of the plastic. So we're going to put the water right where we the plant needs it. So now we have it all switched over for planting on plastic and planting one row. As you can see, the, we got the one wheel down the middle. Right there is the... The hose runs down to the valves there and it dumps the water right inside the wheel. And down there on the bottom is a hole that it runs out into the hole that's in the plastic. So we're just using enough water to fill the hole in the plastic. We got a little bit of rain last night. I'm out here in the melon field checking to see how much water ran off the mulch. And if we could drive along here with the water wheel and uh, without sinking in and get some of these melons planted. When we get rain, the mulch here, the plastic mulch or the biodegradable mulch, sheds the water off to the sides. So we want to check to make sure how soft it is right alongside the, and yeah. This is not going to work today. So either 
we wait see if it dries up or we come up here plant by hand There we have it. Uh, what a busy week or a week and a half it's been. I uh, got a lot of stuff planted. We're going to be planting watermelon coming up here and muskmelon, getting some more of them in. Uh, we're going to, we have a new cultivator coming and hopefully that will cut down on the hoeing of the weeds out in the field. So I'm looking forward to that. I might do a special video on that one unboxing it and putting it together and testing it out so I'll keep an eye out for that one uh if you liked what you saw go ahead hit the like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you back here watching some more of my lovely channel yeah thank you for watching